attachment that I try not to break. It's really easy after a long day to go back home and just like decompress and unwind and just reset for the next day and then you know you just end up in the cycle where you you end up sitting at home a lot, so I wanted to get outside. I'm working on my thesis, so it's just me sitting at home reading and writing. Um, so this is good to you know, kind of get, get out and decompress and think about other things. This is my first time here, so I have met exactly three people doing this. <laughs> She's dominating so far. Hey, what are we playing? What's the game name? Condottieri. Condottieri. It's about conquering Italy. I am Hermione. I'd let the other people do the fighting and I'd try to uh, do some support. It's fun. You could go see a movie, but then like you don't get to talk. Yeah, I, I would like to pass. She's passing. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pass as well. Um, board games are, are awesome and uh, everybody should try it. And if you are new to the hobby, don't let it scare you because if you find some people to play with, they're always happy to teach you. Discard these three and draw three more cards. There's got to be a ton of people out there who enjoy doing what you enjoy also, so just got to find them. Tonight on The Late Show, Renee Zellweger, she stars as Judy Garland in the new movie Judy. Oh, so that's who got the part I auditioned for. The Late Show is on right after us, but we still have much more to talk about. Starting with the weather, we're going to heat things back up again. We're all confused. You say fall, but it feels like summer. It will really feel like summer over the weekend. I mean, tomorrow, a little bit on the hot side, and then a fantastic finish to the week, and then, yeah, heats back up. All right, let's talk about the tropics very quickly. Uh, we're looking at Tropical Storm Karen, uh, well clear of San Juan in Puerto Rico and St. Thomas, St. Croix. In fact, out in the Atlantic Ocean, minimal strain tropical storm, 40 miles an hour. So we're not really concerned about it. It's moving northeast, right? Well, it is, and then it does literally a loop and decides to go back off to the uh, west, southwest. And the good news is, this is just in, the last 10 minutes. So now the Hurricane Center says it's just going to be an extra tropical low pressure by the time we get to Sunday at 9 o'clock with winds at 30 miles an hour. But still, it's got that westerly uh, tendency toward the Bahamas. We'll keep a close eye on that. We'll be following Karen for the next probably seven days almost. Here are the, uh, this, what we call the spaghetti plot, and that is uh, showing the lines, and they go westward, and they're all in pretty much agreement. This is going to make a loop. Not that unusual for a tropical system. Okay, well, we are talking about the bus stop forecast. Fantastic tomorrow. There's a slight chance of a couple of showers, especially as the kids head home. 62 to start is pretty nice. Up to 82 by lunchtime and then 88 by evening. Again, right now we've not issued a yellow weather alert. There's just going to be few and far between. We're not talking storms and nothing uh, heavy at all. However, if it were to rain tomorrow, remember, it hasn't rained in a long time. As my mom, my mom would always say the roads will be slippery. Remember that. Okay, let's talk about rainfall. So we went from feast to famine here. You know, July we had six and a half inches. We had less than two inches last month. We've only had 11 hundredths this month and only 13 hundredths in the last 30 days. Again, not a drought. Water table's fine. Your lawn, not so much. Here's how we stand. 2005, 11 hundredths for the entire month of September. That's number one in terms of driest on record. And we stand 11 hundredths right now. I think we're going to add a little bit to that, but we'll probably end up in the top five of driest Septembers and maybe even top five or ten of warmest Septembers too. That doesn't happen too often. 87 tomorrow, 81 on Friday. And then look at the heat, 90 on Saturday mid 80s on Sunday and Monday. So we close out September warm. Oh yeah, and also uh, dry. So in the meantime, couple showers tomorrow, then a gorgeous Friday, hot Saturday with some showers and storms. Atmosphere a little more unstable on Saturday and very warm Sunday, mainly dry. You wanna make plans one of those two days. Sunday's probably the better of the two to be outside. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, some clouds, but we're dry, 50s and 60s. By 8.30, we're in the 60s. And then by lunchtime, 85 already in D.C., 84 in Bowie, and then showers along I-81. And these showers work their way across during the day as a weak cold front moves through. Again, we'll monitor that for a yellow weather alert. In the meantime, Friday looks fantastic. 81, gorgeous, low humidity. Then we pop back up to 90 on Saturday. We'll monitor that for a yellow weather alert as well. Uh, Sunday, we're dry and just, you know, mid 80s. Monday, we close out the month warm and dry. And check this out. We go into October, 90 on Tuesday the 1st and 93 on Wednesday. Darren, will be back with sports right after this. My father's flag. It needs to, it needs to do more than just lay in that room in there. It's just laying around. It's not doing anybody any good. I want to fly it. No matter what.